you never know what you're going to find thrift store shopping and sometimes you find stuff that's like ah, it's a little bit risky but sometimes it's worth the risk and this morning really worked out found some great stuff in the bargain bins and the first two I paid two dollars a piece for these one is a little more of a risk than the other the other one super happy got an original model 360 possible red ring of death faceplate couldn't find anywhere uh, but it was two dollars I'm like eh, I'll take a chance for two dollars I will take a shot and one that I already plugged in and tested because I was really excited and it works perfectly fine found another 360 much better model again two dollars uh, two dollars you can you can't beat that the 360e console two dollars in really good shape and works perfectly I put it in it works perfectly fine I tried you know a game and played you know a little bit and took another one out put Tales of Despair in let the intro play I think just checking around deleting stuff off the you know profiles that were on there and I don't think it got a ton of use either there wasn't a whole lot on there and they were like things like Minecraft and things like that. I did have a game in it, a little scratched up, not too terrible. Uh, so just, you know, the loose disc, obviously it was in the system at the Lego Marvel superheroes. So that was a unexpected surprise in there, but $2, a nice working 360, that fantastic. Everyone's going to find stuff like that. And it's like, I saw a 360, was like, I don't know, let's see how much they are. It was worth the risk. Two bucks. Yeah. $2 will even take the risk on the, the white one here. Uh, and see what's going on there. And a just a couple other things I found uh, for resale, the Ultimate Edition, the two-disc edition of American Pie. I have American Pie, uh, not just the regular edition here, but I'm not really that interested, but uh, again, this was like a quarter, so grab that, found the Spirit, and let's make it legal, Marilyn Monroe. I do not have this movie on any form, so it was cool to grab that. And one here um, that I was curious when I saw the art. I'm like, this looks pretty interesting. It's a book on cassette by Garth Nix Sabril, uh, which I've not heard of before, but it's an unabridged production. I do like books on cassette. There don't seem to be as many of the ones I'm interested in that had CD releases. It really seemed like audio books sort of switched more from cassette to digital and not as much CD based. So we do, when we find them, we do just get them on cassette. I was listening to stuff last night on cassette and. Um, I wish I had a cassette player in the car to listen to, but you know, cassette is pretty decent for things like that, and quality-wise, I think people compare it to VHS a lot. I think people think of audio cassettes to CD is the same as VHS to DVD, video-wise, and it's not at all. The gap is a lot smaller, and sometimes, depending on what it is, sometimes I actually prefer the cassette to that clean kind of digital audio of the CD. It depends what it is, uh, but we both like cassettes, and again, one of the big things for cassettes that we get really, we, don't, we collect some music, but uh, not as much as, say, like audiobooks, like a lot of Star Trek audiobooks and things like that, uh, some X-Files and stuff. So I was like, all right, this looks pretty fascinating. Uh, and I looked at it, and like, maybe, maybe not, but then I saw Unabridged and Narrated by Tim Curry. It's read by Tim Curry. I'm like, okay, I'll grab that. <laughs> that, that makes that worth it, so. That's what I found today. The big thing again was the $2.360. I'm very, very excited about that. So you never know where you're going to find. Some mornings find nothing. Sometimes you find just stuff to resell, find some stuff for you, and sometimes it's worth taking a risk on something that you're just not sure about. Uh, yeah, it worked out. $2. Got a second $3.60 for the collection. We'll see about that white one. Um, I have to hunt down for a, a different power supply because I don't have an original model. The power supply is just like three or four different ones. Uh, so I have to hunt down a power supply to check that out. I'm sure I have one in my cables and everything like that. But yeah, $2, working 360. I th I'm assuming low number of hours just from what I was seeing that was saved to it. You never know, but yeah, $2, 360. I can't say it enough because that is fantastic and surprising. Made for a great start to the weekend.